My name is Professor James Tooley. I am the Vice Chancellor of the University of Buckingham, a position I've held for 18 months now, a year and a half. For the uh, previous 25 years, I've been working in Russell Group Universities, latterly Newcastle, previously Manchester and Oxford. My doctorate is from UCL, London, and I'm delighted to welcome visitors to this virtual open day for our crew campus. Just a little bit about the University of Buckingham. We opened our doors to our first students in 1976 in Buckingham. We obtained our Royal Charter in 1983, and we're in fact the only private university in the United Kingdom to have a Royal Charter. The university soon became known as the home of the two-year degree. And this was based on the assumption our pioneering founders saw that many students didn't want that long summer holiday and so put an extra term in that time and so students with exactly the same amount of teaching time as in any other university were able to complete their degrees in two years rather than three and of course there were benefits to this of um, uh, 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 lower, lower accommodation costs getting into the workplace sooner and, uh, and so on. You could also do, of course, do a th three year program with a master's tagged onto your two year degree. Now, this of course is how Buckingham made its name and some of the courses you'll be hearing about today in Allied Health also feature this two year degree. Although the courses in medical medicine, of course, are, are, are longer. The university gained GMC accreditation for its new medical school in 2019 and the university is now organized into four faculties one of which is the faculty of medicine and health sciences the other is our business humanities and social sciences computing law and psychology and education but it's the faculty of medicine and health sciences which is based in both buckingham and in crew that is the focus of attention for today so the crew campus site is a dedicated healthcare campus we own the campus in partnership with Apollo Hospitals, Apollo Learning, the leading Indian healthcare provider. And we opened this campus in 2019 in Crewe, which is an extremely well-connected town in the northwest of England, only an hour and a half by non-stop train from London and on the planned route of the new High Speed 2, HS2 High Speed Rail, high speed rail Link which will, of course, shorten the time even more from London to Crewe. It's very close, of course, to the great cities of Manchester and Liverpool. So we are a split site university in Buckingham, some 60 miles from London, and Crewe. But although geographically separate, we do share ethos, facilities, and resources across both our campuses. When you become a student at the University of Buckingham, whether you're based in Crewe or in Buckingham, you become part of our treasured Buckingham family in a caring, supportive community. So at the University of Buckingham, we recognize that the healthcare sector is facing up to a period of significant change in terms of how it provides access to high quality health and care, for, care services. And we at the University of Buckingham are committed to doing our bit to help produce a workforce that is both capable and adaptable to meet these needs. So you've got the day of virtual sessions across the, uh, and you'll be hearing from our staff and students about programs offered at Crew, and you'll be hearing about the student life, uh, the social life, second to none I hear, student fees and finance. But first in this introductory session, I want to introduce you to the Dean of the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences, Professor Joanne Harris. Uh, Joe graduated from Charing Cross and Westminster Medical School, and she's worked in both hospital practice and primary care. She held a partnership in a general practice and now works clinically as a sessional GP. For much of her working life, she's had, a, had an interest in medical ex education. And she's been training medical undergraduates for 20 years, both nationally and in Singapore, and her research interests, including working for her research PhD at the UCL in London, is on medical education. 
Joe was the deputy head of the medical school at Imperial College London uh, for five years before being appointed Dean of Medicine here at the University of Buckingham and now Dean of the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences. She's a fellow of the Academy of Medical Educators, principal fellow of the Higher Education Academy, and in 2016, she was awarded an Imperial College President's Award for Excellence in Teaching. We're very privileged to have Joe speaking to us today. So I'll hand over to you, Joe, to introduce the Crew Campus that we do here. Thank you very much, James, and, and, and thank you for that introduction. I'm going to show a few slides to you today. Um, telling you a little bit more about the Crew Campus. It's a shame that we're not able to welcome you there in person, but I hope over the course of the day that you will learn far more about, um, about this campus. Let's just sharing these slides now. So I hope everybody can see those slides um, in the, um, the window. And going on now to Talk a little bit, as, as um, James has said, the University of Buckingham, a lovely place um, in the south of England, opened relatively long, a long time ago, the oldest private university in the UK, and a place of learning across many disciplines in full faculties, and our alumni come from all over the world, and um, we're very proud that they then go back often to their countries and, and share their expertise and their experience of being at Buckingham. The Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences is, is newer, so it opened with the medical school in 2015. We received full GMC accreditation in 2019, and we're the only private medical school to have a GMC accreditation, so, so that is, is very welcome. We've now graduated three cohorts of students, pretty much all of which have gone to work within the NHS in the UK. And we're now admitting 180 students a year across both campuses. So that's across Buckingham and Crewe. In as well as the undergraduate education, we have a thriving postgraduate school with national and international students coming to study and a biomedical research lab based in Buckingham, the, the Claw Laboratory, doing research into diabetes and having collaborations with many research companies around the world. So, this is a little map of, of um, where the two campuses are, just to orientate you in case you're, you're, you're not familiar. So as James said, a very short train ride from London. Um, we have the Crew Campus in the north, a dedicated allied health science campus. So this is quite unusual. There, there are very few campuses in the UK that are only related to allied health science. And this is a benefit in terms, I'm going to talk later about interprofessional learning, but about the ability to actually be agile and help produce graduates for the workforce is a very important thing because we have this dedicated campus. We're in partnership with Apollo Healthcare who have huge experience in uh, developing campuses um, in India for, for both medicine and allied health. And we have a lot of experience in supporting international students. So approximately half our medical students come from overseas, which is different to many other medical schools in the UK where there is an international cap. We are focused on studying. Um, James has mentioned the two year degree for our allied health science degrees. But we also know that as students, you want to have fun that it's a work life balance. And I'm gonna talk a bit more about that later. So this is a picture of our crew campus um, from the air. Unfortunately, you're, you're not able to be there, but a thriving, very busy campus with um, lots of various um, buildings of, of, uh, across the campus. And there's a map as well to, to, to show you here. So this, this um, location is, as we've mentioned, has good transport links. So not only to London, but to the towns of Liverpool and Manchester, which have, I'm told, a very thriving student life, um, if, and if, if that is something that you're interested in, but also very easy links to the Peak District and the Wirral and beautiful um, countryside 
again, if that's what you're interested in. So it, it, it really is something for everyone in that area. Campus itself has all facilities on site. So we have some very new buildings, some brand new labs that, that we, we are commissioning and for the use of our students and very close working relationships with the student union on site with the student bar, the, the cafe and, and all the facilities that you would expect. Um, the gym, the library, everything is there on site. And just another picture now to show you really how close some of these things are. So the Sealy building where we teach biomedical sciences is very close to the medical school building, the Francis Wood building, and the laboratories are in the exercise and sport building. Again, everything's very close, a very short walk once you arrive on campus. I wanted to tell you some of our faculty principles that will, will really apply across medicine and all the allied health um, subjects. So we do lecture sharing. So for example, lectures that occur in Buckingham will be shared with crew and vice versa. We have the technology and the ability to do that. We are very focused on small group facilitation. So that is the case across all of the faculties that, that the small group work is, is one of the USPs really of Buckingham, that although we deliver lectures, a lot of the work is done through working in groups, um, working in workbooks and working through cases and examples. In all our courses, clinical skills development and, and, and a placement experience are very key, but that we want to do those as early as possible to enable you to get the experience you will need to be able to function in your careers. Our curriculum is innovative, it, it's new, and so we are able to develop the things that, that we know work well for students. And we're forward thinking, we're, we're um, open, we're agile, we're open to change. I mentioned the development of interprofessional learning and the fact that we're building these courses from scratch means that we can get these allied health courses to work together. There's a lot of joint learning to be had between medicine, um, biomedical sciences, the allied health subjects, and we want to capitalize on this and allow students to learn together. And we can design our curriculum with future careers in mind. And, and that's something that's very important to you, I'm, I'm sure. And then looking in, in more detail at that, what, what are we trying to do? So obviously digital technology is important and, and our courses have this, that we capitalize on this where we can to try and aid your teaching. But we know it's important that you have the clinical experience, the placement experience, and the ability to actually have work together and have hands-on learning. So it is it's very much a face-to-face -face degree on site that we are, are delivering here. Just a couple of words about the medical school um, that you will be hearing more about this later and about much of what I'm saying in the later presentations. But the medical school is unique in that it is one curriculum taught across two campuses. So the on-site facilitation is there in each campus. I've already mentioned our GMC accreditation, um, which is something we're very proud of, and the local clinical placements in Crewe. So we use some of the local trusts within Crewe that are very well thought of, um, secondary care hospitals, plus specialist mental health trusts, community medicine, and many GP placements. And you will start attending these placements really from the very beginning of the course, um, from the first and second term of, of your course in medicine, which we think is very important. I have some feedback from um, both our medical students and our, the General Medical Council about our course. And I'm very happy for you to, to read some of these. I'm not gonna read them out. Um, obviously our medical course has been running the longest and this is the one we have the most feedback on, but I know our other courses are also well thought of. And just looking in, in more detail then about some of the courses that we do run, and you'll be hearing about these in the presentations later today, if these are your interest. But in Crew, we will be running the two-year biomedical sciences BSc, the podiatry BSc, the nutrition BSc, which is, is new this year, 
the pre-med, which is a one-year certificate HE, which will lead on to medicine. And if your, your grades don't allow you to join these courses, a foundation year, uh, which will allow you to then go lead on to the other courses. And also the medicine course run jointly with Buckingham, which is the four and a half year course. But as I say, you'll be hearing in far more detail about those. Our admissions team are very helpful. So the, the there are full entry criteria on our website, but sometimes it's not quite clear, maybe if you've come from a place, whether this counts as an admission or not, just please ask our admissions team. They're happy to help, happy to answer any queries and the details are there in, in, in this slide and, and we can give, the, give you those later on. Just wanted to say a word about accommodation in, in, the, in, 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 in Crube, sorry. So, all first year students are guaranteed accommodation. We have this new purpose built block called Booth Hall, which is very near the campus, five minutes slow walk, I would say from the campus um, and has study areas, social spaces, is, is arranged in flats with shared kitchens, but mostly on suite rooms. And again, um, th there are details for you to speak to the accommodation if you want to talk about accommodation there in crew, but that, that is available for all first years who are joining our courses. And finally, I suppose a, a chance for you to ask any questions, um, bearing in mind there will be more talk later on in this, but I'm happy if people want to come on camera and ask any questions now in this session. Thank you very much, Joe. We've got someone raising their hand, Sarah Diogracius. Now, how do we how do we hear from her? Um, if somebody has a question, um, you may want to use the chat, and we can uh, we can read it for you and answer your questions. Otherwise, feel free to turn on your uh, your camera and your microphone as well. I can't see any uh, any hands up. But. We, we had one person actually. Sarah has raised her hand. So, Sarah, do you, do you want to mute yourself, Karen? Sarah, do you want to try answer, asking your question? I'm not sure you'll be able to because of the host system. But so perhaps put something in the chat if 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 you would like to. I can't see any, and, and anybody, anybody else wants to put anything in, in the chat, then please do. If someone's retaking a subject such as chemistry, are they still considered? Um, now that is something that I'm afraid I can't answer. I, I wouldn't want to answer and say the wrong thing. That is very much something for the admissions department. So we'll, we'll answer that through the chat um, later on, and I'll get an answer to you for that one. Um, let me see, are the questions here in the chat? Good morning, Professor. Good, good morning. Very nice to, to meet you, Vishnevi. Do you have a question? I th I'm afraid you need to write it in the chat. Um, it seems that we can't, as a webinar, we can't have live questions. So please type your question in the chat and I, I will try to answer. Can you hear more about the digital technology? Um, Celine has asked. So yes, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to talk about that. So this is something that, that we feel that we, it, it's important for us to, to champion because we are one of the medical schools that doesn't do cadaveric dissection. So a lot of the newer medical schools won't dissect um, um, cadavers, but are using some of the new technology. So we have something called the Complete Anatomy app that everyone has access to that allows you to, I think actually have a better access to understanding the anatomy of the body than you might using um, doing, doing a dissection, which can be quite limited. We couple that 
with the less digital ways of, of having models and using um, examination of actors and each other. So, so it's actually linking the digital with the practical that I think is so important. Um, there are, are some other, so we have an anatomage table as well, which, which people can use, but we're, we're keen to not introduce digital just for the sake of it, but to make sure that it's relevant to the course. So what do medical students typically do for accommodation from the second year onwards? And is there an option to apply for Booth Hall in subsequent years? So yes, that's a very good question. So, so some medical students actually get together with friends and want to live independently in town. And there is a lot of accommodation in town where you could do that. But yes, there is an option to apply for Booth Hall. We, we only guarantee places in the first year, but um, that said, there's there, there's likely to be places in the second year as well. It, it's um it just often is a matter of student choice by that stage. Joe, there's um Sarah Diagratius has um said she's from Tanzania. She's happy with your curriculum. Looking forward to hearing from you. Sent her application in, so that's great. Um, that she wants to do a, a postgraduate master's in internal medicine. Um, Eleanor. Eleanor is saying, good morning, wonderful to meet you. How is the split between the Crew campus and Buckingham campus in the 4.5 years? So it's about the, the, the medicine degrees. Okay, so yes, I can talk about that. So I, I mentioned there was 180 students in total. And in, in we have at the moment 120 students in Buckingham and 60 in Crew. But the, the course is exactly the same. So whatever is taught in Buckingham is taught in Crewe. The lectures are beamed between one or the other campus at the moment on, on teams to students. And we have individual students uh, facilitation in the first two years. In years three and four, students go to their placements. So they're based in placement, wherever that may be. So I, I showed you pictures of the two placements linked to Crewe and we have placements linked to Buckingham as well. And then the students are placed in those placements and, and then whether they've been at Buckingham or Crew will, will not really matter in that sense because you're then more placement based. I hope that answers your question. Can I, I've got a question here about the M Surge course. Um, so this is really about the undergraduate um, courses rather than the um, postgraduate courses. We are hoping to do a postgraduate um, a webinar later to, to answer certain questions. But um, so I would, you've been in contact with the admissions team and then maybe if, if there are questions that they can't answer, I would be happy to speak to you separately or ask our postgraduate dean to speak to you separately, Vishnavi. Okay, then there's Celine has uh, said, she, very interesting. She's, she's a nurse hoping to start the podiatry in September. Really looking forward to it. And she's very much interested in research into diabetes. And I think that was, you mentioned, Joe, didn't you, that the Claw Laboratory is a thriving uh, medical research laboratory here as part of um, the, the, the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences. And uh, that, that research is ongoing and um, some very interesting research that I hopefully Celine can, can hear about in due course. Uh, absolutely, yes, uh, we're, we're, we're very excited about that and it would be great to link in some of our students to that research and, and I know that uh, the Claw Lab will be very keen to do that as well. Yes, so we've got two things open, we've got the chat and the Q&A and people are asking both, so I'm, I'm looking at both. So in the chat we've got from Rian, is the pre-med certificate course required for applying for the medicine course? Joe, can you answer that one? I can answer that. So it depends really on, on what your current qualifications are. If you have qualifications and, and are able to enter straight to medicine, then you don't need the pre-med course. But if your qualifications are at a lower level and the admissions team will be happy to go through this, then you would could do the pre-med course. And then there are uh, you need to get a certain amount of, of credits on that pre-med course and pass on our, um, our interview to enter medicine. Thank you very much, Joe. I'm, and, and Rian says, okay, thank you too. That's good. Um, so even though we can't hear people, we can see their live response. 
Any more questions coming into the chat or the Q&A? Um, can't see any more there. Um, oh, uh, here's one from Sarah. Uh, um, I didn't hear about the pre-masters program where you do the IELTS and PLAB 1. PLAB 1. So I think this is another postgraduate um, question, isn't it? Mm. So um, it, I, I think, Sarah, and I suspect we need to pick that up with you separately um, about how you you um, do the IELTS and, and the PLAB that you need for medical practice in the UK. Thank you. So we'll follow up separately with Sarah on that then. Let's make sure we, we follow up separately. Um, any other questions coming in? Um, so can I highlight some of the areas in the new curriculum? Um, in, 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 which, in which discipline is this? Because um, obviously we're opening some new courses all with brand new curriculums, but I wonder, did you mean medicine, Celine? Podiatry. Podiatry. So there will be a podiatry talk later on um, from the podiatry lead. And that I would suggest go, go to that talk because you will hear in more detail. I'm offering the taster at the moment and, and there will be far more detail in those talks later on. Okay, so I think that's, that's a, a good uh, a tip for the day. If your special areas of interest, please go and hear in detail from, um, from the specialist leading the course. Is there parking for students living in booth hall accommodation? Um, my understanding is there is, Jo. That's my understanding too. Um, but again, we, we will check that for you. I always like these things because you get asked questions that you've never been asked before. So uh, as I understand it, there is, but, but we can find out. Yes, I can confirm there is. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> We've had the real expert come in and confirm there is. Okay. Well, we're coming to the end of this session now. Joe, it was really interesting listening to what you were saying about the, the, the general picture. Um, it is an exciting program we have there. It is exciting having the dedicated health science campus at Crew. I know you and I both visit very frequently and enjoy those visits. And the integration between Buckingham and, and Crew. Is, um, is really working out very well, as, as people will hear later, later on. So I, I'm going to draw this session to a close. Um, do, do not forget, yes, dear students, do not forget to attend the next session, Student Fees and Finance, and then you've got Student Experience and Subject Sessions in med Medicine, Allied Health and Biomedical Sciences. If you haven't registered already, you can do it last minute, last minute bookings are available on our website so please do those now but i want to thank you joe for um, the interesting talk and we shall now move on to the next sessions thank you very thank much thank you everybody we look forward to meeting you in person when you come and visit crew indeed